everyone, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome, of course. Just a little rundown, I create lifestyle content. I'm the type of person who will never have a niche. I really just do a little bit of everything. I'm also a Gemini, so it is a little bit fitting. Anyway, I thought today would be fun to do a favorites video. I've never done one. It's such an old school YouTube thing, and I just really wanted to do it. So let's get started. It's gonna be everything from skincare, body care, hair care, beauty, makeup, um, and maybe even some fashion stuff depending on how long this gets. Starting off with this mug, um, I did a little story time about it all over on my TikTok. We were watching Yellowstone and I saw Beth Dutton holding a mug and I was like, oh, I love that mug, that's so cute. Then my husband decided to go secretly order it for me and it came a few days ago and I've been using it every single day since I make my little mushroom coffee tonic and I drink it in the mornings and I just think it's so cute. It's kind of equestrian and cowboy western vibes and I love this mug. I actually found where you guys can buy it too if you like it. It's a very random thing, but that's quite fitting for myself. By the way, everything that I talk about for the most part, I believe if it's available, I will have links for down below in the description. We'll start with body skincare. So right now, I'm loving this body scrub by Josie Marin. It's the Argan Sugar Balm Body Scrub. I really like using this once a week um, just to exfoliate my entire body because after you're done and you rinse everything off, you have this like moisturizing film of argan oil all over your body. So you step out of the shower and you're already feeling like a goddess from head to toe because this scrubs everything away and you just are feeling smooth and soft and it has no scent either which personally I really like because if I want I can add lotions that I like that have good fragrances that I enjoy or I can just have no fragrances. There are moments where I get these really severe headaches and so on nights like that I actually really like to take showers especially really hot showers because I find that um, the blood flow from the hot water helps get to my head and helps alleviate symptoms of my headache. But in those circumstances, um, I don't like having a lot of fragrance. So it's nice to have the option with something unscented. Talked enough about that. Next up for body wash, as you can tell, I've been using this like crazy. This is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash from Naturium, I believe is how you say it. It's an oil to gel formula that instantly nourishes. I love, love this body wash. It's so... It just makes your skin feel so nourished. Prior to using this, I always used Dr. Bronner's, which I still love as just like a very basic, you know, Castile soap that's clean. But I do feel like it would leave my skin um, just so squeaky dry clean, if that makes sense, to the point where like you, you feel dry after using it. This one feels clean but not drying and it just... It, leaves my skin feeling good and I feel like the condition of my skin over time as I've been using this has just improved. Just to notice my legs would have like almost like that alligator skin and I wasn't very good at taking care of my body skin where I'm getting better at it now but this I think has improved it greatly paired with another product from them. Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. I cannot say enough good things about this. I feel like most of the time I put lotion on and the next day my skin is dry again. This actually over time like I said it's like skincare for your face, but for your body, and it's it's so rich, it's so buttery, it's just, uh, again, unscented, which, like I said, I really like that, and it just gets, my skin just gets better over time. Really, really love these two together, so, yeah, 10 out of 10. Next for body care is the Glaze Hydrating Body Oil. I like to kind of finish off my body skincare with this, just a top layer to seal everything in. It's a very nice, luxurious little body oil, and it has meadow foam and jojoba oil. Really, really nice little luxurious touch if you're looking for a good body oil. Last for body care, it's more like hand care. The Aveda Hand Relief, it's a hand cream, it's like this lemongrass, really light, fresh smell. Um, and I, again, this is the only hand cream that I've ever used that keeps my hands moisturized and I don't have to consistently be reapplying it. I use this on my hands every single night and, and my hands just feel really nice and soft and I feel like it also helps with my nails, um, natural nail growth. So yeah, really, really love this. This is just the best hand cream that I've ever used hands down, no pun intended. All right, so next we're gonna move into wellness. Consider this first item, wellness slash skincare, because it's kind of both for me. It's my red light therapy mask. I've been using this pretty much every single day since August. Um, people ask me about this thing all the time, proven to help improve collagen. Um, it also helps with mood, so it's been really nice for me in the winter. I, I get a lot of sun here where I live, which I'm so grateful for, even in the winter all year round, but I do experience um, a little bit of seasonal, Glumness. I don't want to say depression because I'm not clinically diagnosed or anything, but I do feel like using this every single morning just kind of helps, just helps my mood. I find that it helps heal breakouts a lot quicker. So if I do get 
any kind of spot. After the breakout has already kind of worked through its normal process and it's in the healing phase, I find that the red light therapy helps that heal a lot quicker. For me personally, I like to use it as a, as a way to kind of maintain my skin's collagen production naturally. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not really interested in getting fillers or Botox or anything like that at this point in my life. But um, I do think like anything I can do to kind of naturally help my skin and just support my skin's health overall is something that I'm going to incorporate. Next up for wellness is magnesium. Me, I take one of these every single night before bed. I just find that it helps me sleep so much better. It's just great for really every function in your body and a lot of people don't get enough magnesium, the right kind of magnesium that's bioavailable. If I can find the link to this one, I will add it. Um, I also really like topical spray magnesium too. I think that's really handy, especially before bed, to help you get the best night's sleep. The last thing for wellness is a little embarrassing, but my Stanley cup, my husband got this for me for Christmas and I saw that it was super trendy, but I, I had like a, what's it, that water bottle called? I don't remember what my, what my old, oh, hydro flask. I had a hydro, I have a hydro flask, so I just never really cared to get another drinking cup. But I will say that I do drink a lot more water out of this cup. Something very convenient about it. The straw, the size, it's huge. You can put so much ice in. I love icy cold water. I just find that I'm very well hydrated ever since getting this cup. So if it's going to help you drink water, it's going to help you stay hydrated. I don't see it as a bad thing regardless of how basic it is. Um, I really like this cup. So love that. Next up, we're going to move on to hair products. For styling, this is hands down been my favorite product to use for the last Basically since October, I think is the first time I tried this. I have gone through at least four of these. That's the only downside is that I go through it really quickly. But it's the Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner um, by Aveda. It's like a, it's a spray leave-in conditioner. If you followed me for a while, you know my go-to hairstyle is a twist out. And this, this product for me, it's just, it does everything I need. It's lightweight, it's easy to apply, it sprays, it's not too heavy, it's not too oily, it's not... It gives my hair moisture, shine, um, and enough hold. It, it just does everything that I want, and it's like my one-stop shop. Like, if I don't want to use anything else, I can just use this, and um, it's been it's been my go-to. I also really like the smell. Next up for hair are these two oils. These are both by Fable and Maine. I really like using both. I use the hair oil just when I need a little bit of extra shine, and I use the scalp oil every week like right before I wash my hair. I apply it to my scalp a couple hours before I wash my hair just to reap all of the benefits of the ingredients rooted in Indian Ayurvedic hair traditions. A lot of Ayurvedic ingredients in these that are really good for hair support. So next, let's get into makeup because I have quite a bit here. Um, I feel like I don't talk about makeup enough. So starting off with Say Beauty, to be honest, Say Beauty right now is kind of my favorite makeup brand. I've just really enjoyed a lot of their products. This is the Super Glow, wait, what is this called? This is the Glowy Super Gel Star Glow. Um, it's like a water-based glowy, I use it as like a primer sort of thing. Like I put it, it's like the first step in my makeup routine. I apply this. And it just kind of helps my skin look really glowy and natural and dewy underneath whatever else I'm going to wear, which is usually just concealer, but I really like this. They also recently sent me their Sun Melt bronzers, their cream bronzers, and I've just really enjoyed. A little bit goes a long way. You really don't need much, at least I don't, but it's it blends very smoothly. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. They're bronzers, but I really, really enjoy using them. My favorite concealer for the last little bit has been the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It blends out really nicely. It's buildable as well, like if you have any spots that need extra coverage. I just, yeah, it's a really good, solid concealer. So right now, my two favorite brushes are the Say Beauty um, brush that came with the bronzer. I don't know if you can buy this separately. There's no name on it, but it, it came with my bronzers. So I will look and see if I can find a link, but I just like it. It's like a really dense, um, soft, fluffy brush and it just blends out the bronzers perfectly, which I love. And then next is this Hourglass brush. I really like it for blushes because the top is small. So you can kind of get right in, right where you need with your blush, um, right on your nose, wherever you like to apply. And it doesn't over apply everywhere. And you. It just gives me more control, and then I like to use this side to kind of um, even f go f go in a little bit finer and blend out all of the edges. And so yeah, this is basically my bronzing blush or <laughs> my bronzing brush and my blush brush. Right now, I'm really enjoying these two blushes. This is the Say Beauty blush in Chili. It's a cool tone, sort of berry pink blush, and it's perfect. I feel like every time I wear that blush in a video, I get asked, what blush are you wearing? So, and then this one's a little bit newer for me. This is the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. It's a liquid blush from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's a little bit of a lighter pink, so I think this is going to be my go-to for spring and summer. 
Again, it's just a very pretty color. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury um, wands. Like I have several of them. It's a little bit different from the original one. It's not um, shimmery, so it doesn't have that like golden shimmery. So if you want more of a matte look, I like this, really, really pretty. For eyes, I love the Stay Beauty Mascara. I don't know what it is. I like the wand. It's small enough and precise enough that you can be really specific with where you put your mascara. And I have very curly lashes. So for me, I need something that's like kind of small enough to get under and like get all the tiny little fine hairs that are on either corner of my eyes as well that are also curled. Um, and I find that this one is really good. It gives me a lot of control and yeah, it just does everything I need it to do. On the topic of lips, I have quite a few products that I've been trying recently that I really love. First off is this Hourglass Glass product. Now I don't see what it's called, but I think it had the name like Plump or something in it. Um, but it's basically like a balm, really pretty pigment. It also has like a plumping effect as well. And it's just such an easy, comfortable, moisturizing, hydrating, plumping, beautiful color um, product. I love this. I love this shade from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a lipstick called So 90, kind of berry plum shade and I think it's so pretty. It's also nice because you can kind of build it up. So if you just want like a little bit of a plum um, like tint, you can kind of just dab a little bit on and then blend it out so that you just have like a flush of color or you can actually really pack it on like a traditional lipstick and have the really bold dark color and I think it's really pretty. Again, for a deep winter, um, those like bolder, cooler, darker colors look really nice. Very flattering color and I've just never seen anyone talk about it. I really like it. Next up is YSL. These are almost like a mix between a lip oil and a lipstick. Very hydrating, moisturizing, and a really pretty flush of color. I have a couple of these, but my most worn is shade 150. I've talked about this before over on my TikTok. This is the Laura Mercier Lip Crayon. And this is just, it's kind of gross because I use it so much, but it's a little twist up. And I just, it's a subtle flush of color. You put it on and it's just the most perfect amount. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything. Like it just looks like your lips, but better hydrated. I don't know. It's there's something about it. It's kind of I would say a mix between a lipstick and a lip balm. But it's just the formula. The formulation of it is just very beautiful. And yeah, definitely one of my most used products for the last few months. And last but not least, lip oil from Typology. Again, this is a product and a brand that I never hear anyone talk about. It's a French brand and they have skincare, they have makeup, and it's just, I love the packaging for this. It's just such a nice little product. I love the color, this is Plum. It has squalene, jojoba oil, vitamin E. It's all naturally derived. I also have a hair oil from them and a face oil from them um, that I really love, but this stuff is great. I also really like this little makeup bag. Um, I use this for travel. Okay, moving on to skincare. I don't really have a current favorite cleanser. I feel like all of the ones I'm using right now are just okay. Um, but my previous favorite cleanser that I don't have anymore is from Biologique Recherche and it's the V02 VO2 cleanser I think it's called by far my favorite cleanser that I've ever tried and I don't have it currently I need to I need to order a new one but I will link it if you're interested it's like this milky cleanser and I don't know how to explain it but it almost feels like it's infusing oxygen into your skin it's bizarre I love it same brand. This is a tried and true favorite product for me. This is one of those products that I will never go without purchasing. It's the Biologique Refresh Lotion P50T. It's a liquid, kind of like a toner, kind of like an exfoliator. I don't really know how to explain it. Again, it's another, this brand is, it's a French brand. It's an old brand. It's been around for a very long time. And, um, I, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It, it exfoliates, it rejuvenates, it just makes your skin feel baby soft every single time so it lasts a very long time which i really like i really love the tatcha camila cleansing oil just a really soft lightweight oil i've used a lot of different butters and balms and i like them but sometimes i find that they're so thick that they're really difficult to actually remove to then go in with your actual cleanse it's just really easy to remove it's gentle it it emulsifies really easily with water and it gets all of my makeup off. I really like this. This is a newer one for me. It's by the brand Beachy. It's their Mineral 89 Booster. I just really like it. I used this for the first time a few weeks ago and I noticed my skin in the morning felt extremely hydrated, plump, soft, and this was the only thing I had changed. So this is doing something. Another product from a brand that I've never heard anyone else talk about before. It's called Revive Nightly Dual Acid Retexturizer. It's a it's a moisturizing renewal lotion. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful formula. I don't know why I'm not hearing more people talk about this brand. Um, I also love the color, the packaging. 
The packaging is beautiful, the product is beautiful, and I love the way my skin feels after I use it. It's, um, it's definitely one that I had to use pretty consistently to start feeling like my skin was changing. It's a product that I really enjoy using and I feel good about using and I'm gonna continue to use. This is the Fiber Quinn Essence from Ravella. I've started using this maybe two months ago. This is basically, the way that they describe this is kind of like a skin plumper. Yeah, it's just another product that I feel really good about using. My skin feels hydrated, feels plump, and my skin is infused when I use it, and I just really, really enjoy it. And it's also very nice packaging as well. I'm a sucker for nice skincare packaging. Okay, I talked about this over on my Instagram because I was so blown away by the way this made my skin look. Like, So I have... Um, you can't even see it now because it's, first of all, I have makeup on, but second of all, this product works so well. Um, so when I get little breakouts, I tend, after they heal, I tend to get hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you can see, but it's already been used quite a bit. It's this green serum. I was actually kind of shocked to see the color when I opened it because I've never used a skincare product that was green, I don't think. Um, but it has like Moringa and a couple of different interesting um, acids and stuff. It's a brightening serum. It really does fade away your hyperpigmentation so, so quickly. At first I was just applying it to the spots that I had hyperpigmentation, but within a few days I started seeing those get lighter. So I started applying it all over my face and it just, I can tell like in the morning my face just looks so bright and glowy and clear and I don't know, this is, this is a good product. I'm gonna be repurchasing it consistently because it's really, really good. And I think it's a pretty good price point as well. So I'm gonna have that linked. Everything, like I said, will be linked. And lastly is this SPF from a brand that I, again, have never heard anyone talk about on social media. It is by far my favorite SPF that I've ever used ever. It's so beautiful under me. So dewy, it's so beautiful, lightweight. It's just, it has skincare in it. It's stunning. I can't say enough good things. Also, the packaging is so cute. This one is a little bit more pricey, but uh, this is this is a good one that I will be re repurchasing. I do fashion favorites in a separate video, but we'll just finish it off with a few little accessory favorites. Right now, my favorite sunglasses are by this brand called Feroce. Feroce, I think is how you pronounce it. It's an Italian sunglass brand. Um, I have purchased like high-end designer sunglasses before from brands like Gucci. I really do feel like these are kind of just in the same wheelhouse as that, but they're not nearly as expensive. Um, I just think they're so... They're just so elegant to me. I like their designs. I think they're very elegant, very feminine. Um, I just really like these. I think they kind of have like classic sort of like going on a car ride in the countryside of Italy type of vibe. Like I need like a scarf over my head. Also very pretty. Um, they're like a chocolate brown, they're really dark chocolate brown, but they're a little bit more square. I find that this brand frames my face well and they're very comfortable. They're very high quality and well-made and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this brand again. Why do people not know about them? But yeah, these are also very, very pretty. My favorite. I have my bag here. I guess I might as well chat about this as well. This has been my go-to bag since around Christmas time. It's a Ralph Lauren bag. Well, I can't really find it anymore available online. Um, they have similar versions available online. I know that they have like a, a baby blue one, but it's really pretty. It has like the suede top and a leather bottom. Um, I like the shape of it. Also wear it crossbody if you're gonna be busy, but I just think it's really cute. Something about it feels very equestrian to me, which I really like. And honestly, I could do an entire video about bags that I like because um, I'm not a huge fan of like super in your face designer logo bags. I, I did buy one um, and it's one that I almost never wear now. I prefer more quiet brands that are very high quality, but they're just not as well known. So it's more of like a quiet luxury thing. Anyways, I could do a whole video on some of my favorite understated um, quiet luxury bags if you guys want. So let me know if you want that in the comments. Last but not least is this tiny little emerald baguette necklace. This is also 14K. I found this on Etsy. I think it's such a cute little dainty pop of color for every day. That was a lot of stuff. I think that concludes my favorites video for now. Like I said, I've never done one before, so I had a lot to cover. If you have any favorites that you think I would like, do comment down below some things you think I would like to try. Thank you so much again for taking time out of your day to sit and watch. I hope you enjoyed and um, we will chat soon in the next one.